Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Grinspoon. I'm a primary care doctor, a cannabis specialist, and instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School. I've been involved in cannabis uh, for my entire career. Uh, this is for several reasons. First of all, my brother Danny, while fighting a losing battle against childhood leukemia, was a pioneering medical cannabis patient. My, patient, my parents bought cannabis for Danny illegally in the early 1970s, putting unnecessarily both of their careers at risk. And cannabis vastly alleviated the ravages that he was undergoing from the chemotherapy. It enabled him to, to uh, maintain his weight and to actually play with his little brothers. Um, there's nothing more impactful than witnessing firsthand the alleviation of suffering in a family member. Also, my dad, Dr. Lester Grinspoon, was a famous psychiatrist and cannabis scholar at Harvard Medical School as well for his entire, uh, for the last 50 years of his career. He uh, wrote a groundbreaking breaking book in 1971 called Marijuana Reconsidered, calling for the legalization of cannabis. He recognized that cannabis does, of course, have some harms, but the harms of criminalizing cannabis were much greater than the harms of, in most cases, people using cannabis. Finally, I have a specialty in addiction. I um, am 15 years in recovery from a vicious opiate addiction. And uh, while I wouldn't recommend putting get addicted to opiates and recover on the medical school curriculum, uh, there is no substitute for lived experience. And I feel like being on both sides of this issue has given me just a wealth of um, experience in terms of treating people with addiction. Finally, I've been greatly interested, fascinated by psychedelics, both personally and professionally for my entire career. Probably since reading my dad's book in 1979, he wrote a book, he was such a visionary called Psychedelic Drugs Reconsidered, where he was calling from the rooftops that we need to use psychedelics such as MDMA and uh, psilocybin for psychiatric conditions. I think at one point he even sued the government to try to get MDMA legal, which is of course now going to happen in the next couple of years. Harvard did not take kindly at all to my dad's scholarship, which is ironic given now that they have um, a large psychedelic center. But anyways, all of this is linked together. Primary care doctor, I'm a certified health and wellness coach because I'm a caregiver, an educator, and a clinician. And I believe that people absolutely have the right to experiment with their consciousness, with or without drugs, with any technique, uh, re as long as they're not harming themselves or, or other people, particularly as long as they're not harming other people. And I feel like we need to end the war on drugs yesterday. The war on drugs is just a war on people, a war on black, black and brown people. And we need to kick law enforcement out of it and have doctors, nurses, social workers, and healthcare providers uh, help people instead of uh, criminalizing all of this behavior. Um, the main lesson I learned from my dad is that if you dedicate yourself, work hard, find the right people and work hard with them, that we, we together can, in fact, change the world for the better. Thank you so much for listening.